Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to draw the arms of our Lego man. Here you can see the sketch. So I'm gonna start with drawing the, this part, like this cylinder, and the inner diameter is 8 millimeters and the exterior one is 10 and we have this gap of 6 millimeters. So go ahead, open your cut program make a new 2D sketch and just draw two circles with the same center one is 8 millimeter and one is 10 millimeters and here you can see it and now we just need a line I don't know let's say 6 doesn't matter if it's bigger or not zoom in and you just need an offset Choose this one and 3 millimeters in this position, and again 3 millimeters in the other position. And now just go use the trim and delete the circles between the lines in order to obtain this. And we don't need this one. And go ahead, trim the axis part here and here. Okay. And this is the sketch. Now we're gonna extrude it with 8 millimeters. So go ahead, extrude it with 8 millimeters. Okay. And this is the basic shape. And now we're gonna see here that we have this radius of 8. So you're gonna say, like, okay, it's really easy. You just go file it. You go 8 millimeters, yeah, why not? And you go on this one and this one, right? Uh, not quite. You're gonna get this error because it's impossible to do a radius there on that edge. So the problem is, like, for example, if you go 1 millimeter, Let's say here and here you can see even after the preview that it will gonna work. But if you go above one, let's say two millimeters, it's not gonna work. Yeah, so this is a problem. So in order for us to obtain this filet here of eight, basically you have more than one method, of course. And I discovered that at least two of them, yeah, and uh, they are quite difficult, I can say, and it took me like almost one hour to, to get them. So basically, if you think about it, you need to delete this part with that radius of 8. So the, the idea that I come with is to make a new plan, uh, offset from plan. Go in origin, select this plan, not this one, the one that you need to be in the middle, middle, this one. So offset from plan, this one, zero, okay. Make a new sketch, of course. And basically, you're gonna draw a circle that is uh, down with four millimeters. And here is the center of our circle, but be sure that you are there on that spot exactly, because otherwise it will not work. So, 8. Okay, and you're gonna ask, but, okay, why did you draw that? Because if you extrude it, okay, let me show you. So, if you extrude this circle, you can see that is the perfect shape for you to delete that extra part. So go ahead and do symmetrically because you need it in both uh, places and go ahead make it 10 because you need to be at the surface here. And now it's the point that you are gonna think like, okay, now we just go here and you, you delete it with direct and delete it and that's it you don't think about it anymore right uh, basically no and i will show you why 
because if you delete them okay like this and like this press enter and you can see that okay they are deleted and you're gonna need to delete this one as well the extrude that we make it inside but if you go and delete it and of course you you check not to consume the sketches and the features that it's okay and you press okay you're gonna get another error so it's another problem so if you think about it you can go now and um this is the the i think the first method that i come with uh, and this is like very simple and very basically but it's not so good so if you go back and just redo the delete part the idea is to delete them and afterwards to use a circle that is this diameter and just cut through the excess parts that you can see that we have here but you still have the extrude in our body so it's not that good but if you go ahead and make a new plan here exactly on this uh sorry so if you go and make a new plan here you're gonna see that we have exactly the work plan above the piece that you need to delete so you can just go and make work plan and <clears throat> sorry my 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 throat is hurting me so if you go here and just follow the sketches like connect the dots so to say and make this circle again and just trim the the excess parts you're gonna have this shape okay so now it's basically like really easy you just you just go and i don't know you make this invisible you can delete this one doesn't matter but be assured that you don't delete the futures you can delete like the sketch but the sketch is with the feature in the same time so you cannot delete it so this is what you're gonna have afterwards you can go and delete this second sketch doesn't matter now and now you just extrude this one in the opposite way and just click ok and you can of course make the work plans invisible and here you got the shape without extra parts everything it's okay right and if you think about it it's better this way because you don't get the extra parts in here if you went and delete the normal way and then clean the inside and the exterior you're gonna still have the parts inside so it's not that okay okay now we go and make the the other part here this cylinder and you see that it's three millimeters down so you're gonna need to make a work plan again that it's tangent to a superface and through a point and this is it and the point in this case it will be wait 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 um and the point should be around here where is this it should be automatically snapped with but apparently it doesn't want to do that here we go and here you can see that you have the tangent but it's not perfect i think it's perfect let me just check it yeah it's perfect uh, so go ahead make a new sketch and now you're gonna take care because you are on the the filet part but you need to be yeah you need to be on the file part sorry so from the file part above with three millimeters so just gonna go back home on this side just make 
a small line from here that it's three millimeters high and then you're gonna have this extrusion that is uh, the whole length it will be 15 millimeters minus 5 of course so it will be 10 but you have this small detail here and this is uh, after um, 10 minus 7.7 .7, it will be 2.3 millimeters so go ahead and make a circle with four millimeters but we have to extrude it with only not with 10 but with only 2.3 that's it go ahead and make a new sketch here another circle and this time is 4.2 that's it, finished sketch, extruded 0 0.2, that's it, new sketch, another circle, this one it will be 4 again, finished sketch, extruded 7.7, .7. and here you can see that we obtained that uh, detail. And now go back and here you can see that we have a radius. So make a filet one, this part K. Okay. You can go and make invisible this one and this one it's finished. Okay, you can make it yellow, of course. Our Lego man it's definitely yellow. Uh, yellow. Ta -da! And go back and be sure that you didn't screw up with something. Okay, here you see it's 0 0.3, so I was sure about that. And this is extrusion number two. Just edit the feature, and instead of 0 0.2, you put 0 0.3 and click OK, and that's it. And this is the handle, the hand part, sorry. So you see not, not every time something that appears really easy at the beginning, it's not easy until the end. So just this filet with a radius of eight, it was really hard to make. So I don't know, take care guys and watch carefully when you draw something. And thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.